Hey guys, welcome to another Stubbs Effects tutorial. Today we're doing lasers in Windows Movie Maker. Now, since Windows Movie Maker is such a limited program, you can't do a lot of special effects, so we're going to have to manually create them. It may be a long process. All you're going to need is a proper laser gun, like this. It's a Nerf gun wrapped in tin foil. You're also going to need a program that we used in earlier tutorials called GIMP. The link will be in the sidebar. Um, that way. There's going to be three parts that we're going to edit. Number one is the muzzle flash. So when you shoot the gun, that bright light right here. Number two is the actual laser moving. And number three is the impact on when it, when it hits something. You can choose to not show the muzzle flash or not show the impact. Like You can do whatever you want here. Now all you got to do is shoot your scene. All right, let's get into editing. Okay, first thing you want to do is import your video into the timeline of Windows Movie Maker and find the spot where your character is about to shoot the gun, just like right here. We need three parts. We need the muzzle flash, which will be here, the laser part, where the laser is going to come across and hit them, and then we need the impact and go right before your character is about to shoot. So right, right here it would be. And go tools take picture from preview now we're gonna skip ahead to where our friend here is about to be shot I'm gonna start here tools take picture from preview save next frame and that's about all we need because we don't need him to go totally down we just need it so it shows the impact explosion on him and then we can just play the rest of the clip where he goes down like that we're going to exit windows movie maker now you're gonna have to download something called the gimp and you can go to www.gimp.org next thing you want to do is file open now you gotta find all of those pictures that you just took from windows movie maker and open them all up. If your computer can't handle t opening them all up at the same time, then just do a few at a time. Now we need to open a few more things. Number one, if you download the link in the description, I provide a laser pack for you, and this has uh, the impact images, it has uh, the different colors of lasers that you can use so you don't have to make the lasers from scratch. Um, I provide you a muzzle flash and sounds for your laser. Open up the muzzle flash. As you see, there's already transparency on it. We want this one. So now take the one where your character is about to shoot. And what you want to do is take the rectangle select tool and select around the star shaped muzzle flash. Control C for copy. And now paste it on right here. And there we go. So you can move it around by just dragging it. And if you use the scale tool, you can go like this. You can size it up a little bit. So you click scale. You see here there's uh there's black lines and it's going over the black lines. What I do is take the rectangle select tool, just go over one black line like this, and then click paintbrush tool. Make sure this is black right here, so we'll go all the way to black. And make this brush right here, the circle brush as big as it can go. And just go over it like that. You can also do that with the bottom. And there you go. I would want to make this a little brighter, the scene, because it's a muzzle flash. So you go colors, brightness contract, and just bring that brightness up. like that Ugh. and as you see again the uh, the bars turned a little gray so I'm gonna go over that again and there we go we have our muzzle flash so we're gonna save that file save and I do quality 100 percent next thing we want to open is the laser that we want and the impacts and you can see how there's four impact images 
so open that up open all the four of those up and now you can pick one of four lasers here you can have a blue one a green one a red one or a yellow one these are the ones I made I guess I'll go with yellow and the first thing we want to do we gotta find our first frame select this with the rectangle tool control C for copy control V for paste that's on here so now take the scale tool and scale it to however you want now we can move it and we want to move it just outside of the frame right here and before we paste this down I would copy it so control C so just so we don't have to keep scaling this image a million times so control C and then click anywhere else off the screen to paste that down so save this is this is fully hitting it right here so we're gonna go right here we're gonna paste it down this is the last laser that we're gonna use so exit this laser don't save and now you wanna find impact one which is this one and you're gonna rectangle select tool copy and paste and you're gonna move it to right where the laser hits your character so right here save it and now bring up impact underscore two so it'll be the second import second impact frame control C for copy and control V for paste and we'll paste it right on them like that and there we go now we have another hit save it and do this all the way through control copy and paste number four and as you oh, as you see it's out of the black lines again so just fill it in as before save that so now we have all these extra frames that we didn't need to take pictures of because we're done editing so you could just exit all of them and exit GIMP what you're going to do now is take all of these pictures that you have one two three all the edited ones except the muzzle flash and one by one you're going to go into effects scroll down and go speed up double do that for the next one now you can see when you play it it plays a little slow so you're going to go file publish movie and publish to this computer and I'll import that same video now delete the pictures in the timeline and just put the video that you exported in there so as you see it still plays a little slow so what you're going to do is right click effects speed up double and only click it once it plays smoother so now you're going to import your whole video and go to the spot where he's about to get shot go right before and click split now you want to go take your edited muzzle flash one and put it in between where you split right click effects speed up double and click it as many times as you can and click OK so it'll look like this you need to put the video at the beginning right after the muzzle flash so here here but now you see how this video starts over so you're gonna have to trim it to about here trim to about when the uh, other clip ends now all you gotta do is add sound effects from the, the link I gave you add some more touch up effects and you are done with the video bro you think you are strong? I am a Toronto Maple Leaf fan
right guys, that's it for today's episode of Stubbs Effects Tutorials. I'll see you next time.